happening right now, you know, today is National Therapy Animal Day. It recognizes all of the therapy animals who partner with their human companions to bring comfort and healing to people in need. And that includes the animals at Pet Partners, a nonprofit, of course, right here in Cincinnati. And here to tell us much more this afternoon, Trish Smith, along with her dog, Rosie, <laughs> they are. <laughs> and a therapy animal team here for Pet Partners in Greater Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. I've been I'm gushing sure. over Rosie oh. <laughs> since you arrived. <laughs> I've been gushing over Rosie's hair. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Let's be clear, okay? It's all about the hair. <laughs> yeah, so Trish, what exactly does Pet Partners do? Right, so Pet Port Partners is a not-for-profit organization. We're all volunteers um, and we visit a various uh, places like hospitals, hospices, uh, veterans, homes, uh, memory care, mm. um, wherever we're requested to go. Um, you know, if we have available teams, we go and visit. Um, and basically it's just to promote the uh, well-being of humans and the, ha the human animal bond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times when we think of a therapy pet, we think of a dog, of right. course, but it doesn't have to just be a dog. There are other no. therapy animals. Yes, we, we have 92% of our teams are dogs, um, but we also register nine species total. So domestic rats, guinea pigs, oh I know, um, <laughs> uh, llamas, alpacas, birds. Uh, we also, in our group, I think you've met therapy uh, rabbit George. Yes. And, and oh. He's a fan favorite, uh, George, <laughs> and we have some cats and we have a guinea pig. Wow. Yeah. Yes. George I've is never a heard of domestic rats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To each his own. Talk to us about what are the benefits of therapy animals? Right. So there are a lot of studies on this, of course, um, and they show t that um, they do reduce stress, mm -hmm. uh, pain tolerance, um, heart rate, blood pressure. Uh, and basically it's just a distraction from mm -hmm. what people might be you know, encountering in their everyday life. Um, I just walk in with a cute dog. I mean, she does mm -hmm. all the work. Yeah. I, I say I hold the leash and I'm transportation. <laughs> but it, uh, they do, they sense when people need help and need comfort and you know, she just climbs up on the bed or on their lap and, and her favorite thing, go to sleep and, and people just pet her and it's just a very calming thing. It really is amazing yeah. when you see it firsthand. Yeah. I was telling Ashley and we've talked about it that just a few weeks ago I took my little Cocker Spaniel in to see my grandmother who's in a rehabilitation center right now and just all of the people there they mm -hmm. just wanted just that little glimmer of right. you know maybe their life before or just a little bit of comfort sure or they're missing their pets mm -hmm. um, or they had a favorite pet when they were growing up or, or you know we, we meet the most fascinating people with the fascinating stories about animals and it's just a, a really easy thing to volunteer because you you know everybody has pets usually and they like oh, to talk about kidding. them <laughs> 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 Rosie around. knows we're talking about her I know she, she likes attention for sure. Yeah, so it's really a, a very comforting thing. Very cute. Now, how can people celebrate National Therapy Animal Day? Right, so today's the big day. Um, across uh, greater Cincinnati and Kentucky, we've received 11 proclamations, including one from Governor DeWine, and we just got one at one o'clock today from the Hamilton County Commissioner. So that was really um, awesome, you know, to be honored with the proclamations and get our word out there. People can volunteer. Uh, we always need teams. The request is far greater than any of the teams mm -hmm. that we have in availability. And of course, we are not for profit, so you know donations are always welcome. Well, we appreciate you being here. I know it's been a busy day. You were just with the Hamilton County Commissioners, yeah. of course, earlier, so I feel like poor Rosie's <laughs> probably exhausted. Uh, Trish, and of course, Rosie, thank you for sure. joining us again and for sharing the importance of your mission. You can learn much more about Pet Partners of Greater Cincinnati by simply visiting TPG. C, TPGC pets.org and of course you can help out if you can maybe if you want to be uh, a pet therapy mm -hmm. owner or you know help out or any donation would be greatly appreciated. Yeah. All right Trish, thank Rosie, you so thanks much. again. All right.